victory over our lives. As you go home, think about the rest of Ephesians chapter 6, which is a really popular, well-known, familiar passage. So finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. So we are at war. We are literally in a spiritual battle. 
Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm. Standing therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth. We're in a war and truth is at the middle of the fighting ground of that war. Truth is always under attack, but the word of God will always prove true and stand true. We can take strength in that. And as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace, the gospel daily keeps our hearts prepared. When we walk and live in preparation of the gospel, we'll have peace in our hearts and we'll have a constant and effective outlook on life. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. As our faith grows through the knowledge that we have in God, we talked this week, we're looking at these different attributes of God that sort of transfer into the Christian's experience. One of those is that we grow in knowledge and wisdom and discernment. And as those things happen, as you grow in a knowledge of the word, your faith will become stronger. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. The grass withers, flower fades, and the word of God stands forever. The word of God is the weapon that we wage war with and praying all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication, keeping alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. So we pray and we study and we lend our minds to the memorization of scripture and meditation on scripture. That's an offensive weapon in this war. And when we do that, then we can rest assuredly, firmly on the promise of the last two verses in the book of Jude. And this is what I wanna leave you with. Jude verses 24 and 25. Now to him who is able to keep you from stumbling and to present you blameless before the presence of his glory with great joy. To the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, be glory, majesty, dominion, and authority before all time and now and forevermore.